Welcome back to the trucking journey. I'm Trucker Jim coming to you from Anderson, South Carolina, and it's supper time. And tonight we are having bison, which I believe is a cousin of the buffalo. I've never had it before, but I picked it up at the grocery store. It's a little on the expensive side. This is 12 ounces of ground bison, and I'm wanting to say it was close to 10 bucks. This should be pretty simple and hopefully delicious. But what I'm gonna make is a bison hamburger steak. This is 90% lean bison with 10% fat. It's 12 ounces, so that's that's pretty good size hamburger steak, right? But there are no carbs, of course. There are 22 grams of protein and 11 grams of delicious bison fat. All we're gonna do is add a little salt and pepper. I get both of mine in the grinders. We got our pink Himalayan sea salt and some good coarse pepper. All right, so let's salt it up a bit. Add plenty of pepper. And then we need to get our hands a little dirty. Alright, look at here. Bison burgers, baby. Now all we gotta do is put these in the air fryer. Alright, both barely fit in there. Whenever I'm cooking meat, I like to use a meat thermometer so you can cook with precision. Now my temperature guide that came with the meat thermometer it does not have bison on there but beef and venison if I want my burgers to get to a medium well which is what I want 155 degrees is the magic number we're nowhere close to that right now I'm not strict keto diet kind of guy but I have definitely implemented some keto low carb type of habits and there's really no need to add bread to our our dinner tonight. All bread does is make you fatter and tired and soft. And did I mention fatter? Yeah, bread does that. Guys, I have terrible news. My refrigerator has no power. It won't come on. It's like, I don't know, it, it's unplugged. I've got quite a bit of food in here. These are my olives. Guess what? Man, these are good. Olives are good for you guys. They're a really good source of fat. And sometimes you can get lucky and get some cheese with your olives. Mmm. What a great appetizer. Why would a refrigerator just stop working? It worked earlier. I mean, it cut off when, you know, my batteries ran dead ran low over my reset but it's been working it froze everything and now there's no power but you guys aren't going to be able to help me to save my food i've got to figure this out or i'm going to lose all my food and i really need my butter for the coffee in the morning here's our kale in a nice little plastic cup we'll just heat this up in the microwave for about a minute and Let's check on our bison burger. Ooh, they're coming along. They're not quite ready though. All right, let's do a temperature check. Hmm, that's pretty close. This one not as close. double cheese. Once you put cheese in an air fryer, stay close by. It doesn't take very long and there's air moving around and it can, you know, sling your cheese around. Oh yeah, baby. There we go. So this is our dinner tonight. Some kale, 
and some bison hamburger steaks with pepper jack cheese. So now it's a moment of truth. Let's try them out. This smallest one, I would call that well done. I would call that freaking good. Mmm. This is good. It's hot. But it's very good. That's really good. And cooked in the air fryer, guys. So we done cooked a steak, some fish, chicken, and now some bison in the air fryer. Mm. If anybody's recently got an air fryer in the truck and fell in love with it too, let us know in the comments. And then we have kale. Kale is not my favorite vegetable necessarily, but it's real good for you. It's a superfood. It's up there with avocados. Ah, that's what I should have did, is cut up an avocado to go with this. That would have been really good. Especially since my refrigerator's not cooling. That's up close and personal. With the bison burger. All right, all right. It is the next day. I'm coming to you from I love somewhere in Alabama on 85. I'm fueling up now, I'm gonna go ahead and do a 30 minute break. And it is disappointing to report that my refrigerator is still not working. What am I gonna do, people? Probably what I'm gonna do is go into this Love's and either get a little Godfather's pizza or some Chester's chicken strips or something like that for lunch. I do have a little dry food and some canned soup and you know that kind of stuff so there's still some cooking options but refrigerated options not so much that stuff's in the trash can at the QT other than just my butter yeah it's probably gonna be room temperature butter going in my coffee in the morning got some cheese and some olives and uh, that's about it that's probably what I should have for lunch instead of the uh, the pizza or the chicken strips Part of me is like, get one of the $100 coolers from inside the truck stop that works in the 12 volt. I'm like, no, I don't wanna do that. So, here's the plan. I'm going to deliver tomorrow to Humble, Texas. And then from Humble, Texas, I'm gonna to head to Houston to the Michelin to get a load that's going to Laredo. I'll be delivering that to Laredo Saturday, getting something off the southeastern yard in Laredo that's going back to South Carolina. So, the shop can take a look at my refrigerator situation. But, based on previous experience and my knowledge of the situation, I have the expectation, they're gonna be like, what you want us to do about it? We're not refrigerator mechanics. And you know, this truck is probably three and a half years old, so there's not warranty on it. And I really don't have the expectation of them replacing it. The refrigerator in this truck there is a possibility of getting a different truck but all the new ones they don't have refrigerators in them anymore the only ones that do are a few volvos and the international lts and there may be i don't know a couple of freight liners too but that's about it but i do have a really nice cooler that i keep my beer in back in the uh, chevy so i don't know for the little bit of time i have left maybe i can ice it so i guess i'll do a reset back home uh should be back there tuesday if everything goes as planned i've got some new glasses that'll be in and these i wasn't able to pick up the day i got my new eye exam they had to send them off for a little while to get them to come in because they're coming with the anti-glare lenses which i don't know these look like shades when i'm outside the new ones aren't going to do the whole transition to shades type of thing but they're gonna have the anti-glare, which should be so much better talking to my little camera and all my friends on YouTube without glare all in my, you know, showing on my eyeballs. I don't like it. But let me go ahead and wrap this up because uh, this isn't a complicated video. I can edit this together pretty quick. The idea is on my 30 minute break, I'll have some snacks that I have in the truck instead of going inside the truck stop other than to get ice i do need to go in there to get my ice and my you know yellow spout bottle and then also my red water cup because the coffee is gone 
so it's time to make the water switch. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The bison burger was really, really good. No, I think it's interesting eating other animals other than just, you know, cows and pigs and chickens. It's all in the mass produced slaughtering houses that they have. I don't know. I feel about it. I feel better about those things. And also another great meat is what fancy people call venison. In my family we just call it deer meat. people but if you would like to support the trucker gym channel and the exciting things that will be coming later on in the year well there's a few ways you can do that there I think the trucker gym gear t-shirts and hats and stuff is still working I hadn't tried it lately but there's a description a link in the description for that and there's also several links for products that you've seen me use here on the channel or things I recommend that you can order from Amazon and there's something new that the uh, the lockout man told me about. I did a, his podcast uh, about a month or so ago. But you can now, there are memberships to the Trucker Gym channel. Right now, I don't know how much uh, benefits actually in this, except for maybe a little more interaction with myself. You know, shout outs on the channel when things happen. But there's like a $5, a $10, and a $25 a month membership thing that goes to support the channel. But that's just for people who want to. Everyone else, you can help out by dropping a thumbs up, leaving a comment, and I'll see you next time. But until then, be safe out there and keep on trucking.